What's up guys? I'm Wes. I run 4x4 Rescue. Uh, I've been doing off-road recoveries for years and years and years. Uh, more than I can count or more than I can remember. It, literally in the hundreds of uh, recoveries that I've done over the years. As you can see behind me, we got one. Uh, today we're at Folsom Lake. Pretty much every day we're at Folsom Lake. Everybody and their brother gets stuck out here. The last uh, couple weeks, the water level is super low. Usually where I'm standing right now is, is water, but the ground is soft. It's a lake bed. You know, I'm sure you guys are familiar with lake beds. Uh, very deceiving. It looks like it's hard packed, but uh, it's soft as can be. You bring these big trucks out here, people that aren't experienced with four wheel drives, they think, oh, I, you know, I got a four wheel drive, I can go anywhere. They learn real quick. You, you bury that thing frame deep within 10, 20 feet. But uh, this is what I do, you know? So I figured now's a good time to, to start filming it, putting it on YouTube. I see everybody on YouTube is making the big bucks, man. They're doing pretty well. So I'm like, hey man, I, I can do this, or at least I, I think I can. So we're gonna try, but uh, yeah, stay stay in tune, you know. I'm, I'm sure we'll have plenty more recoveries to come. Uh, I wish I would have filmed everything over the years, but you know, it is what it is. I will say I'm not the best with editing. I'm not the best with computer work. Um, I'm sure you guys will pick up on that real quick, but hey, it, it is what it is, man. Uh, we're gonna do it regardless, and uh, hopefully I'll get better with that stuff as time goes on. Yeah, it's pretty cool out here. I've never been to this side. This is where they all store all the boats. Typically, people that get stuck are on the far side of the lake. That's that's where they let you kind of drive around on the lake bed, and that's where most of the action is. But uh, we will see. I was just talking to the uh, guard at the gate over there, and he said the last recovery they did out here, they had to get this crane out and they had to pick up the whole freaking truck because it was buried out in the lake. So I'm not quite sure what to expect right now, but. We're pulling up. We'll find it. Well, we found it. <clears throat> it's a little soft out here. It's buried in pretty well. And I don't see any toe points on the front of this thing, but we will get it. I'm just going to hook up probably, I don't know, 80 to 100 feet of kinetic rope and toe straps and that way I can be up on the hard pack to get it yep no toe points that sucks oh and it's a diesel so she's pretty heavy and it's a long bed but uh, I'm sure we'll we'll make quick work of this all right so this is how we got it hooked up without toe points around two axle straps uh, right around here on this one, I went over because uh, we're kind of pulling uphill, so I don't want it to bend the, you know, the steering bar. So I went over it. But this one, the bar is up a little bit higher, so I went under it. Now the whole point is, there's no damage. You got to be conscious of where you're hooking this stuff up to, because when it gets tension on it, it's going to pull straight. If I were to run it under this bar, and then we pull straight, there's a good chance it'll it'll bend this up. And then uh, ran a tree saver to D ring to 30 foot uh, TGL strap. I like to run the straps closer to the truck because a lot of times these are what gets ran over. I'd rather have a you know $20, $30 tow strap get ran over versus a $200 kinetic rope. But uh, we're, we're hooked up pretty far. So I got 60 foot of kinetic rope on it and uh, 60 foot of tow straps and then a 10 foot tree saver. Just down to about five feet. So, um, you know, we're pushing. What do we have there? 120, 125 foot pull from here to there. But that allows me to be up on hard ground. And because uh, this stuff, you know, is soft. If he doesn't come out the first try and I keep yanking on it, then I'm just going to bury the back end of my Jeep. But waiting on the owner to show up, he should be here any minute. I'm going to go ahead and start digging these tires out and try and, try and make it a little bit easier. Ready to go. Still waiting on the owner. He said he's about five minutes away. Got the tires dug out a little bit. Should, you know, I don't, don't want to shoot myself in the foot here, but uh, I feel like I can get this in one pool. I've done bigger trucks that are more buried in one pool. We are kind of working against us because it is still soft and it's uphill. So it doesn't look too bad on camera, but we're definitely pulling uphill here. And uh, this is a heavy truck and that's a little Jeep. So but I, I'm confident we got it. I'm going to set up the camera over here. Hopefully it stays upright. I got a problem with my tripod falling over in the middle of the damn video, but uh, try and get it situated. 
Well, this is what we got. So I think I showed you guys already, but uh, we've got over a hundred foot pool going on. We'll see if we can make it happen.